most welcome to you, dear listeners of the Voice of Reformation. We thank you so much for your time and we encourage you to continue so that if you turn not, you will leap. Today we are going to be together with your brother Rugamba Janti. And our topic is a question which is to be taught by everyone among us. Our theme is, Who Shall Stand? Before we dig deeper, we want to ask for help from above. Let's pray. Dear Gracious Father in Heaven, we, your sons and daughters, we come before your throne humbly because we recognize that we are nothingness without you. We want your help to be together with us now as you are going to open your whole scripture. We want you to guide us and to help us to understand and to be able uh, to receive your word and to put them into practice. Help us to be prepared for your coming is our humble prayer, believing in your lovely name. Amen. Welcome once again, lovers of this voice of reformation. Our topic today is who shall stand? This question has to take much of our time by thinking about. Beloved, we would like to tell you that there will come a day in which mountains, islands will remove from their place. In that day, the mighty men will fear. The mighty men will cry bitterly. Our key verse is in Revelation chapter 6. On verse 17, where the Bible says, For the great day of his wealthy is come. And who shall be able to stand? The great day of worth of God shall come. Not too far. Soon it will come. That day will be very terrible. In that day, those who reject the commandments of God they will escape, but they will find no refuge. In Zephaniah chapter 1 on verse 14, it is written that the great day of the Lord is near. It is near. And hast greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. How can you think if you see a mighty man crying even bitterly? That day will be a great day in which those who would not have hope in God they will never stand. Those people who did not prepare their hearts so that they meet with God in peace, they will never stand at such a day world will be divided into two classes, visible classes, 
one of righteous, other of wicked. One class will see Christ is coming as the Lamb of God. Another class will see him coming as the Lion of Judah. Let me read with words which can be found in the book called Testimony for the Church, Volume 6, on page 404. It is written In the time of trial before us, God's pledge of security will be pressed upon those who have kept the word of his patience. Christ will say to his faithful ones, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. The Lion of Judah, so terrible to the rejecters of his grace, will be the Lamb of God to the obedient and faithful. These words are very hopeful. The pillar of crowd, which speaks wrath and terror to the transgressor of God's law, is light and mercy and deliverance to those who have kept his commandments. The arm strong to smite the liberious will be strong to deliver the loyal. Every faithful one will surely be gathered. He shall send his angels with the great sound of trumpet, and they shall gather together his elected from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. Let the inquiry go forth from sincere hearts and trembling lips, who shall be able to stand. Have you in this last precious hours of probation been putting the very best material into your character building? This is a very important question. Have you been purifying your souls from every stain? Have you followed the light? Have you walked correspondingly to your profession of faith? This question we have to use more time by thinking about them. We have to ask ourselves, will we stand for that great day. Our last verse is in Bible where we get a response for this question. If you want to be able to stand, if you want to meet with your Lord in peace, you have to do this following things. Psalms chapter 15 on verse 1. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy city? And you can add, who shall be able to stand? Answer. He that works uprightly and walks righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart. This is one who will be able to stand in that great day of the Lord. This is the one who will see Christ as the Lamb of God.